clonal hematopoiesis is this condition where a somatic mutation has arisen in a stem cell and that stem cell has grown out to then represent a substantial fraction of the blood cells that are being made by the body. Now this isn't necessarily a disease. There are individuals who have normal blood counts who are walking around with these mutations and have evidence of clonal hematopoiesis. However, there's some context in which we see it more often and some context where we're more concerned about the presence of this, of this state. So one context in which we see clonal hematopoiesis more often is in cancer survivors. So patients that either have a predisposition to cancer or more likely have been through some sort of cytotoxic therapy that has helped select for these mutant clones and allow them to expand. Now, we know that clonal hematopoiesis has clinical consequences even in people with normal blood counts. It can predispose them or actually directly cause cardiovascular disease that could be uh, a, it's a risk that's quite significant, comparable to other risk factors that we consider. So this is also true in those cancer patients. But I think in these cancer patients who receive cytotoxic chemotherapy or might do so again in the future, we also worry about the development of a therapy-related myeloid neoplasm, which can be a fairly devastating diagnosis and difficult to treat. So what can we do about it? At the moment, little. We don't really know what kinds of interventions we can do to help mitigate the development of a therapy-related myeloid neoplasm, other than avoiding additional chemotherapy if we can. But there are some approaches that people are trying, looking at medications that affect inflammatory axes or medications that uh, might further select for these mutations, trying to avoid those. So I think those kinds of things are likely to come into play in the future.